What's up everybody? Welcome to a new video. So I'm going to be showing you guys today how to turn this photo that you see on the screen right now into this photo with literally just two clicks of a button completely for free. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to need to go to a place where I can actually go use a photo, a photo that I'm legally allowed to use. So for me, I personally, I'm not going to go out there and take pictures of a howling wolf, um, but there are other people who have taken those pictures for me. So I'm going to be using my photo bank website here. You can see it's called Unlimited Photos, um, and they have thousands and thousands of pictures of animals, landscapes, I mean the list just goes on and on. So I found a picture that I liked, that I personally liked. You guys can find whatever picture that you like. And you're going to take that photo and what you're going to do is once you find that photo, you're going to put it in this secret software that I found. Now, before we get into the software, the website that I'm using is Unlimited Photos. You guys do not have to use this by any means. The reason why I personally use it and the reason why I frequently use it is for print on demand. If you're not familiar with print on demand is, is uh, just websites that will essentially print out your merchandise for you. Majority of the people who watch this YouTube probably already know what that is, but websites like Redbubble, websites like, uh, you know, T Public, websites um, like all these different, Printful even, they take your product, your image, they post it on a product, and they print it out for you, and they send it to your customer. This makes my life easy, and unlimited photos for me I know that sometimes I like to create these cool photos uh, and put them out there to the public and actually sell them but not every website am I legally allowed to do that for so websites that are quote unquote copyright free are actually not allowed on these platforms because they are stock photos so a website for example like pexels.com I actually cannot use so pexels.com for example I cannot use there are many people who have used their photos before and have gotten completely banned off their platforms permanently banned off platforms like Redbubble, TeePublic etc and I do not recommend you use them but anyways I'm using unlimited photos and the reason why I'm using them is because I paid a one time payment fee to use this software if you want to be able to access this software and pay a one-time payment fee um, that one-time payment fee is $59 now if you go straight to the website unlimphotos.com the pricing does not reflect that it's $11.99 a month that's why the link that I'm sending you is an exclusive discount it's an affiliate link for this specific website okay where you pay once you get access to the software forever you get access to every single photo with unlimited amount of downloads on a yearly basis. Um, the most that you could download per day is 30 downloads per day with the one-time payment fee. So with the $59 payment, you get access to this software uh, forever, 30 downloads a day. So once you get that software or any software that you want to use for your images, you have to decide what photo you actually want to use and what website company that are going to provide the photos that you're actually going to use. You have to figure out what that, what that is. Now for me, that's unlimited photos. But once you find your photo, you actually decide on a cool photo, you're going to now go to the second software, which I'm going to list in the description box down below. It's labeled number two, okay? That software, number two, is the free software. So what you're going to do is you're going to go create an account. You're going to create your first project. And once you get to that site, um, your page should look like the one that you're seeing here on screen. What you want to do is you want to click on this little upload button and upload your very first image okay so you upload your very first image now what you're gonna do is you're gonna duplicate your image so you can right click and select duplicate and just drag it over here to the right side I'm gonna show you how exactly how to do this now once you click on this second image okay what you're gonna do is click FX here this FX button which represents effects and um, what you're going to do is you're going to select any of the free ones on the left side here of these little boxes, the effects that pop up. Now for me, I really like this magic button. And what this magic button allows me to do is I could change different things. So I'm going to select this midnight template, right? And look what my image is going to change into. It's actually really, really cool. Look at that. And that only took a second to do. The cool thing about this photo, this software is... It's free, like I said. You can use the premium version, but the free one has a ton of benefits. I know I'm personally going to definitely upgrade to the premium version. This is the pastel 
This is the rainbow look. This is the moonlight look. I mean, just so many different cool features on this software here. And you could take this and upload this into Canva. Uh, for you go, for, excuse me, not Canva, onto Redbubble for you to actually get sales, okay? So this is actually pretty cool. And this just, you know what it does, guys, is it adds a little bit of a touch. It adds a little bit of a difference when it comes down to creating your products, right, on, on Redbubble. When people see things that stand out that look different, catches people's attention. Let's go ahead and actually pause the screen here. Let's download a few images and let's try this for ourselves. So I'm going to pause the screen. I'm going to go find a few images and I'm going to give this a shot. Okay, guys. So I just went into unlimited photos. I used my membership to actually download three different kinds of images here. So you're going to see every single one of those images right now. So let's go ahead and upload each one, one by one. I uploaded a picture of a wolf already, a castle, a beach, and another wolf. So let's go ahead and do this one at a time. So I'm going to delete the images that I currently have here. And the first one that I'm going to go with is this cool uh, landscape beach kind of photo. Now it does have a lot of data in it. It's a pretty hefty photo and it's very graphical. Um, I would say this is like maybe 8K quality. And what it could do is I could turn this into a beautiful canvas on Redbubble. I could turn this into a beautiful duvet cover. I could do this really whatever product I want to use. If you guys want to actually see me do this and add products to Redbubble with this, let me know. I'll actually do another episode on this, but here we go. Let's go ahead and click effects here, and I can look through all the effects. It doesn't necessarily have to be the magic effect. Let's go ahead and try, try this moonlight effect, and let's see what happens. So that's actually kind of crazy to me. I don't actually like that effect, so let's switch that effect up. Let's see what midnight effect has. Uh, that's okay. I mean, you know, it is what it is. It's really not my style. Well, the cool thing is we don't have to go with this magic effect. We could check out other effects. So let's click featured here. And you can see here on the featured, there's this little section that says premium. And the premium f effects are, those are the things that cost a little bit more. So those are the things that are not free. Now this software in general is very, very cheap. You could either pay $12 a month or you could pay $60 for the year and own it. They actually have also a 50% off sale going on right now for the student discount. So you'd be paying half of whatever numbers that I'm mentioning. Let's go ahead and click on this artistic button here and let's see what comes in. So uh, let's click on this poster effect. So this poster effect is pretty crazy as well. Uh, maybe we could actually, you know, adjust it slightly. And let's go ahead and play around with the colors here. We can bring the colors to a higher number or even a lower number. Let's see what it comes up to. If we set this up to 100, okay, that's kind of crazy. Let's see what's, what it's at here when we set it to a lower number. What about details? Let's increase the amount of details. Okay, so details is how it would look originally, but if you notice here, look at the top of the clouds. It does look a little bit different. What if we have, let's say, 87 for details, or maybe even a little bit more because it does look a little bit blurry. 96, that's pretty cool. See, that looks like it was like a crayon-type drawing. Right, so that's really, really cool, and I actually like that. Maybe, I'm not sure if you guys could actually see this and my computer is picking this up, but this looks really, really good. Um, let's go ahead and now do, uh, let's actually download this first of all, because this is actually pretty amazing. So, um, let's go ahead and hit download here. Okay, so I downloaded it. Now let's just get rid of it. And let's go ahead and try this with the wolf. So, the wolf face, we originally had this one. And let's click on it again. And I'm going to minimize this just so we can have an idea as to how it once looked. And I'm going to go over here back to the effects. And I'm going to play around with the effects. So we have a few effects here. Uh, for the artistic, uh, it's not something I would want. Um, we could play around here with the colors. Let's go ahead and see colors. Nope, that's not something I want either. And you could just play around with it. Dewtone is pretty... Okay, let's see what we got here when we get Dewtone. Yep, that's definitely not for me. Uh, let's go ahead and head over to Color. Let's click a None. Let's see what comes up here or here. Yeah, that's all right, too. Let's go back to what I'm thinking is maybe a different effect. So let's go with... We have the Rainbow Filter. We have Dewtone. Let's click on Magic again. Let's see what comes up with Magic. Let's click on None here. Then let's click on the Rainbow Effect. Yeah, that's okay. Definitely not something I would go with permanently uh, for my for my Redbubble store. 
Um, see, that looks pretty cool. I think it just works out. So anything I feel like with a wolf type of photo in it, and it has this midnight effect, it just looks better. Like, to me, I would definitely sell this on Redbubble, right? Um, I could even create my own website and sell stuff like this on Shopify, which is pretty cool. Or, you know, even another platform. So, I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to delete the original image. I'm going to enlarge this to the best ability that I absolutely can. And I'm going to save it. I'm going to export this. And I'm going to do, I'm going to add this actually to Redbubble. When I get the chance. Now let me go ahead and d finally do one of my favorite images. Which I'm super interested in seeing how this castle is going to look like. So let's go ahead and click on this castle. Let's try to enlarge it as best as we can here. And let's like fit it perfectly. Right. So we have this castle right guys. So let's click on this effects here. And let's just take a look at the different effects. We have pop art. Which yeah that's not of interest to me. We have featured. We have a whole bunch of different featured effects here. We have glitch, 1993. Um, you know, and I'm actually going to pay for this software because I want to see the per... Like, I want to be able to use everything on this software, to be 100% honest with you. You see, this looks pretty cool to me as well. Like, this is the fatal. And I could see this in a painting. I could see this, you know, any kind of effect. So, let's go back and uh, select the magic one. Let's just see midnight, what that feature does. And, wow, so that is interesting. So that definitely works. Um, let's go with none here, and let's try out the other ones. We have the rainbow effect. That's That looks pretty cool, too. We have the green effect. Let's click on the green effect. Eh, that's not my cup of tea. This one's okay. Highlight effect. Let's see that one. That's not my cup of tea, either. Let's click on the yellow. Hint of yellow. We have soul. We have stay gold. Let's check out gold. Okay, interesting, interesting. We have uh, Neopop. Let's click on Neopop. Let's see what happens on Neopop. Um, we have Winter Blues. Let's check out Winter Blues. Okay, Winter Blues. I actually like Winter Blues. It's really not that bad. Um, what about Crushed Marble? Crushed Marble, not really my style. Um, let's go back here and let's check out the artistic one. So, for right now, I'm going to click None on this. And we have a few. So, we have watercolor let's click out watercolor very in wow that's actually really nice i like that um let's see cartoonizer let's see the cartoonizer one i like that one too that's actually pretty cool now we can play with the like we can adjust the features here by clicking magic one let's see what how it edits the screen if it does so it makes it a little bit blurry now it's extremely now what about the mask so the mask has a little bit, It's it creates these black lines. What about mask one? Let's go ahead and see what mask one here is. Okay, so that that's like the finer details. So look at that. I just completely changed the image. Um, let's go with magic two. Let's see what happens when... All right, so magic two I want, let's say I want it turned up all the way. Let's bring down magic one a little bit and let's see what happens there. Okay, so that, that's something interesting as well. And then we have a fade that we could play around with as well. So I turned it up all the way. And when I turn it up all the way, it's more clear. So if I want less fade, or I want it slightly faded to play around with the colors, um, let's turn it halfway. So something like this. So that's pretty cool to me, right? And that, that to me now makes the photo look like an old photograph. Like that's what it looks to me now. Right um, before it looked to me like it was just straight faded, like it was blurry. Now it looks a little bit better. We can increase mask and see how that looks. So that that takes out some of the lines when I increase it. What about if I decrease it all the way? Let's see how it looks now. Okay, so that that looks a little that looks more like a cartoon now to me. So. Overall, guys, I think this is just pretty cool. I figured I'd share this. Um, once again, the the reason why I like to find new tools like this and the reason why I'm actually going to end up paying for this tool is uh, because the features that it offers. I mean, there's a lot more features that you could do with this specific tool. And once you guys sign up, you'll see it. But uh, you can create different things like Instagram posts. You can create, um, you know, your, your uh, Instagram uh, story posts. You can create t-shirt designs with this. You have different text designs. And like I said, I'm on the free account right now.
right now. So I didn't sign up yet. But I just figured I'd show you guys this because I have been, you know, working at this for a little while now. But it's fun to use. Um, you could play, you can add different fonts, especially, and this is one of my favorite features, is that I can easily design stuff on here for t-shirts, for example. So I could go to my... Uh, uh, uploads and I can click on this fonts button I can upload fonts now you actually have to be a premium member to be able to use this software and so you can see here uh, or excuse me to use the fonts feature um, obviously you guys see that I'm not a premium member yet uh, but I will I will be doing that let's go ahead and see the text style fonts so there are different style fonts that we can utilize but once again you have to um, pay for them right? So you have to be a premium member to use that. But overall, for something that's free, it's pretty good. Uh, you know, I really want to get the premium version, and I will get the premium version because of these different features. You, you guys let me know. Either way, I'll leave the links in the description for both of these softwares. The first software, like I said, was for the um, the photos. Like, every single photo that you see here, I have the legal right and I have the license to utilize these photos because it's technically not stock photography, right? And also, they actually clearly state... Uh, unlimited photos they clearly state in their policies that you're allowed to so if you click frequently asked questions here it says what can you use these images for and the first or the second one excuse me says print on demand mugs t-shirts clothing journals etc so um, that's print on demand you could even use this for book covers you can do a whole lot with this so I'm excited to make more videos with this I just think this is generally fun um, to use and I figured I'd share it with you guys all right I'll talk to you guys later thank you guys for watching peace out bye